Hey what's up guys you are watching for tech and this is our new device OnePlus Nord 2. Today in this video we will quickly do unboxing in the intro and immediately root the device after unboxing. So in the box on the front this is our Nord 2. Inside that you will see the clear rubber back case, SIM injector tool with some introduction leaflets, 65W charger and the USB cable. But we are just only interested in Nord 2 so let's throw all the things and unwrap it. The back of this grey Sierra matte finished Nord is looking just amazing guys. So let's attach the back case and now after the restarting the device let's directly start the routing tutorial. Download all the files given under the video description, place them on PC in one folder. This process will work only on Oxygen OS version 7, 9 and 10 but it is recommended to use version 10 so please update your device first after the boot. We welcome you all the Nord users in the world of modding so without wasting time let's start the adventure. On the new adventure. <laughs> After complete setup let's go to the settings, now go to the software update because before routing please update the device to the latest software version Oxygen OS version 10. If you get the update completed, now go to the settings about phone, now click on the version, there you will see the build number, click 8 times on it, now you have enabled the developer option. Now go back under the additional settings, you will find the new developer option. Inside the developer setting, find the OEM unlocking option, enable that. Now find the USB debugging, enable that also. Now go to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. From that extract the MediaTek USB driver zip. Now inside the extracted folder, run exe installer file. Must remember that while installing the drivers don't attach the phone to the PC. After MTK driver installation, now connect your phone to the PC using the USB cable. Now inside the folder where you have placed all the files, click shift plus right click on the mouse and select open command prompt here from the drop down menu. Now type the first command adb devices, I have given the all the command prompts under the video description from there you can copy paste command in the cmd. Now on the phone screen you will see the usb debugging prompt accepted. Now again type the adb devices, hit enter, now you will see the authorized adb device id. Now type the command adb reboot bootloader, your phone will be reboots and you will see the fastboot mode on the phone screen with the tiny words. Now in the cmd window type the fastboot devices and hit enter. If your device connected correctly it will show the device id, if your device is not visible in a fastboot mode you need to install the latest adb and fastboot drivers. I have given the link of that drivers but the installation process will be shown in another video so wait for that. Now you have to unlock the bootloader for that type the fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter. Here I have done the unlocking on the Linux terminal instead of Windows CMD that's why the screen looking different but commands are the same for the both devices. After typing this on the phone you have to click volume up, phone will wipe your device. Now you will see the fastboot recovery and the normal setting option on the screen but the volume keys and the power button will not work here so to reboot your phone you need to type fastboot reboot. And and hit enter. Phone will reboot, so it will take 5 to 10 minutes. We need to set up the device again after reboot. After that, repeat the process of developer option by clicking the 8 times on the build number and enable the USB debugging as shown previously. I am not showing that again here. Now connect the device to the PC by typing the ADB commands. Reboot your device to the fast boot mode as shown previously. Now we have to flash the VB meta image for that, open the CMD window in the same downloaded folder and type the command shown in the video or the copy commands given in the video description and hit enter. You will see the process successful and ok at the end of the CMD. Now go to download folder and rename the TWRP image to the shorter one so we can easily type its name in a CMD command for the flashing. Here I rename it to TWRP Danish, you can rename it as per your wish. Now go to the CMD window and type the fastboot flash recovery and your recovery name and hit enter. Now you will see the flashing process on the CMD screen. Now important step comes, type the command fastboot reboot recovery but before hitting the enter button on the PC remember after entering ok you need to immediately press volume down plus power button until you will see the recovery name at the bottom of the phone screen. This name will be disappears immediately so keep watch on it. After that leave the phone as it is and it will reboot to the TWRP after the few seconds so wait. 
If you fail to do the exact process, your device will be rebooted to the OS and you need to repeat the process of flashing TWRP again. So follow as it is correctly to avoid the headache that I already faced. After your device boots in a TWRP, now connect the phone to the PC and transfer the Magix 23Z from PC to the phone. Now click install in a TWRP, select our Magix 23Z file, slide to flash the zip. After flashing, you can take the Android backup of the stock ROM using the backup option for the safety purpose. This step is optional. Now go back and hit reboot and select the system. Now phone will be boots. When we go to the app drawer, you will see the Magix app, but it will not work. You need to download the Magix 23 APK file, download it and install it as a normal APK. Open the Magix app, there you will see the Magix 23 installed on your device. To check if the root is working or not, download the root checker app from the Play Store and open it. Click verify root, app will ask for the root permission, give it and you will see the green pass indicator on the app screen. Congratulations guys, your newly purchased Note 2 is rooted on the Android 11. If you are adventurous like me, you can follow this tutorial to root your newly unboxed or the old Note 2. If you have any questions or the issues, message us at the Instagram ID. So that's it guys for today. If you think we help you, hit like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our new content of Note 2. Because now I am bringing the more content to this device. So bye bye, take care, see you in the next video. On a new adventure.